Castlebar travelled to Mana Bay yesterday where they picked up an impressive 37-21 victory. Both sides were coming into the game off victory, so it was sure to be a thrilling encounter. Casper took an early lead through Sean Toner and man of the match Barry Walsh had a great game, being impressive off the tee and grabbing a try of his own. It was great to get two wins in the bounce again. Um, we got it earlier in the season in the Cauley Cup and we let that go the last four games, so it was nice to get the two weeks, two weekends in a row now. Two big wins. Nice to get the five points as well. Mm. And obviously, it's clear you've been fairly impeccable off the tee so far. Are you, are you doing a lot of work in the background I'm now? Doing a bit, yeah, doing a bit. Doing yeah. a bit here and there. Because uh, Majaya, you scored majority of the points today, especially getting over for the try. Is yeah. it, how does it feel to help out the team like that? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to get my first try of the year, so hopefully, you can get a few more going over the next few games. Mm. Mm. Well, were getting some success during scrum time. Could not overly capitalise on their opportunities. Casper coach Simon O'Malley has shown a lot of trust in youth this season, and it seems to be paying off for him. It's good, yeah. We've a nice balance there. We've a few nice young lads there, and a few very like experienced lads that are still still pl playing some sick rugby. Like so, it's nice to have that balance, and we're finally coming together, finally getting the wins. So hopefully, we can keep that going. Castle Bar played some great attacking rugby, which was the reason for the success. Could have had more scores only for Matthew Stonkin's try to rule it out for a forward pass. Just keep doing what we're doing. Um, all the lads have massive faith in Simon and QB and everyone that's behind us, so it's finally coming together, playing some very nice attacking rugby, so mm. hopefully we can just keep it going now. Monaghan's late fight back was cancelled out by Simon Stoughton's late try, which closed off the game for Casper, who will now travel to Tume in two weeks' time. Mm -hmm.